Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Mirror Dimensions. So in the last episode, we unlocked this button, so I can become eternal now. And there's no point wasting time to get E349 infinity points for two eternity points. It's faster like this. So we're going to go eternal, and it's going to ask us for a confirmation. It will reset everything, so let's take one last look. We have made this much antimatter. We have this many infinity points. No eternity points. We have infinityed over two million times. Um, and we have... Um, our fastest infinity is 0 0.061 seconds. We've played for 47 days. We have all of these achievements. The achievements won't reset, don't worry. And five of the achievements on this row. So, yeah. So, three, two, one, go. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have an eternity point and we've unlocked time dimensions. These produce time shards, which generate free tick speed upgrades at certain thresholds. You actually can't spend the first eternity point on anything other than this first time dimension, so I'm going to get it. Now I'm generating time shards, so that's going to make it faster. And we've unlocked the new eternity tab. So there's a lot of things here. So these are time studies. Time studies will basically map everything from here to the end game, and in New Game Plus Plus Plus, we're talking here to Ghostify, which is two prestige layers from now. And um you um you buy time theorems with different with like antimatter infinity points and eternity points and the cost will increase. And then every eternity you can um you can reset your time studies to like change the build. And with this first two way split here you can choose whatever you can choose both paths, but for these next two three way splits you have to choose one. And then on this one you can choose both. And then um and then now you're and then by here you'll be up to the light and dark studies. And you can only choose one from each of these groups of two here. And these are also count as groups of two. And finally we have eternity challenges. So within this time study tree, we have eternity challenges which we can unlock if we have if we get a requirement and an amount of time theorems. And then once we've unlocked it, we can do the challenge. There are more there there's another thing to eternity challenges and um you'll understand them better when we're actually doing them. So next we have eternity upgrades, which are upgrades you can buy with eternity points. Similar to um this upgrade here, um, it's actually repeatable. And um, now, uh, and you don't have to get all of these to buy it. Finally, you have eternity milestones. So, um, based on like how many times we've eternity, do you get different um quality of life features? So we have unlocked the auto buyer for this, and. Now, we're going to start. So, we're going to just hold M here and get these dimensional boosts. We're going to sacrifice. It's just going to be like playing through the whole game over again. Let's get our first galaxy. This is like the first ten parts in a nutshell. So, yeah. Sacrifice, and then just keep going. We can get another galaxy here, and then just get our dimension boost really quickly. It speeds up after the second galaxy, just like before, and then big crunch. And we have six infinity points. The reason for this is because one of the achievement rewards... um. Well, two of the achievement rewards give us four times as many infinity points, so that's 16, and then it auto-bought this. So apparently we don't need to have all the upgrades to buy this anymore. And we're also going to buy these ones. So I'm going to hold M and then do this. Um, There we go. And then I'm going to get all of these. And then hold M. And then... Do another infinity, get that, and then I'll have to do the challenges soon. 
So yeah, I'm going to do them. So some of them aren't easy. Well, some of them aren't too bad. Well, none of them are really bad, especially compared to when we did them before. Let's do this one now. Trivial. Let's do this one. Also trivial. This one we might need a galaxy, but it probably won't be hard, I think. We might not even need a galaxy here. Um. And there we go. This one. Um. Also not too hard. And we keep our challenge records, actually. Um. So after this, we won't have to do these challenges again because the next Eternity Milestone lets us um, start with all our auto buyers unlocked and all the challenges completed. Oh yeah, this one. I'm going to... I'm going to get that even though it's useless and then I'm going to have to just set my auto buyers like this, and then try again. And then, so yeah, it's mainly our achievement rewards and time dimensions that are making this. Okay, I really need to set this to buy 10. And then, I'm gonna exit the challenge and I'm gonna upgrade these guys. I'm gonna like buy it up to 16 can probably afford that. Yeah, and so now let's try the challenge again. And it's going to be a bit slower than the rest of them, but no worries. Um, we can do it. Okay, and we're going to get more dimension boosts. And just wait. We can even buy max tick speed. Um, because we don't have an auto buyer for tick speed. We can just. Okay, that was a mistake, but. We can just, like, buy it quickly, like this. That's probably the best way to do this. And then we. I'm just gonna spam this, hoping it actually buys. There we go. And now we get a galaxy and it slightly faster. Don't know how much faster. Um maybe I'll like go like oh I what have I done? I just it's fine, I just made a new tab. I I meant to click shift which basically shift plus t buys single tick speed upgrades so yeah i'm sorry about that but it's fine so once all of the costs have pretty much equaled our antimatter we'll max tick speed and this seems like a pretty good strat so yeah and so we're just gonna wait and then buy max hopefully I'll just get to E308 antimatter because I'm close and then Maybe one more, and then we'll wait. And then max this a couple times. And then sacrifice again. Nah, this doesn't work. 
I might have to hold down 8 to help me. So I'm holding down 8, and this strategy worked when we did it before the Eternity. And... Um, I'm just going to max this. Sacrifice. Um, I think I'll just get a galaxy. Here, I'm sorry this is taking a while. It's longer than it should. I can maybe try upgrading these for a little boost. And then just I'm going to hold 8 here, so that I can get more of my... Okay, max tick speed is... There we go. Now let's um, do this one, which is much easier. It's one of these slower ones, but... Set this on by max. Upgrade it, and then... Galaxy, and then... We, yeah, we've done the, um, we've done this challenge now. Okay, I'm just going to get another galaxy, but that should be enough. There we go. Now, this one, easy. And then, this one, maybe hard, but not that bad. And then we wait. So yeah, I will wait. I won't see you guys later. I will um keep going. Maybe one galaxy, and then again we just. Do this. There we go, big crunch. And now, um, I exit and then do a bunch of normal runs. So if I upgrade these, so max galaxies is like a million. Max eights, um, you know, this is zero. I don't know. I'll just. I'll just go like zero zero. What have I done? Um zero one I guess. And then turn this off for now. And hold M. There we go. This is helping. And then we get the last upgrade. We're also auto buying the infinity point multiplier. We're going to break infinity soon. So once we've maxed the intervals of all our dimension auto buyers, we'll, that'll be good. And then um, yeah. We have to hold M here. Okay, um, there we go. Now, we'll turn this on. Oh, I'll set this to 2 because I already have a galaxy. There we go. And then we'll keep upgrading these. And I'll see you when we break infinity because it's going to be a little bit. So yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just realized I should really be upgrading my bulk buy. There we go, that's helping a little. And yeah, that's good. And so now I'm going to wait. 
obviously this is auto buying, so um there we go. Now um we need to keep grinding, so yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I'm almost ready to break infinity. I think that we will um break infinity, turn this off, turn this on and let's see how far we can get. Um Okay. I guess I'll turn this off. Let's see. Um what if I hold down M? Okay, I'm gonna get some of these break infinity upgrades. And then I can keep going. Um There we go, now it's a lot faster. Now we won't have to grind to break infinity in the next eternity because actually you keep your auto buyers, which means you actually start with break infinity unlocked and you start with infinity broken. So yeah, I don't even have to use an auto buyer. It's easy to do this manually. And um, it bought in a two times infinity points upgrade, so um I can get here quite easily and then now we're almost up to the challenge times upgrade. And then we can start pushing towards infinity dimensions. Okay, it's slow here. So I'll set this to like 1.5e5 and then we wait. Um, maybe if I hold M, it'll f it's a lot faster if I hold M. Maybe I just need to upgrade my bulk by a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly it. It's my bulk buy. Um, yeah, now I'm making, like, a lot more infinity points per minute. I'll get all these to, um, like a thousand and then I'm good. So, we're gonna get, um, another level of that, and then that. Oh, tick speed cost multiplier increase, I forgot about that. So let's see what the peak is now. Uh, it's still, like, the same. But, um, at least we got another upgrade, so, um, yeah, I'll see you when we have 10 million. Okay guys, I'm back. I just got a level of this and so now um I'll be able to get to 10 million again twice as fast getting this. And then I'll be able to get seven galaxies giving me even more infinity points. And then um I'll go for that. Um and um so yeah, let's get this. And then, see. Ooh, um, four. I guess it's like four point five. Actually, no, it's like one million, twenty six. And then, yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, I think. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye!